new design. The first thing you'll want to do is just make sure that that says millimeters and not meters. Now, if you're on the, the Mac version, that will automatically be millimeters because you won't have selected meters or you wouldn't have selected architecture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a sketch, um, straight into sketch, and then I need you to go to rectangle. And instead of just clicking um, rectangle, making sure it says center, you're gonna make sure it says diagonal. So we'll just click in the origin and then we'll move around a bit. Now I'm not clicking. Instead, I'm just gonna type in some random uh, dimensions. Of course, you already know your dimensions and this will actually stop you from copying me. Okay, so um, for this one, we are going to just put 100 and there you go. Now you'll see that that's completely blue already. If I close that, it means that all you need to do is click and pull up. You don't need to press any other buttons there. So I'm gonna turn that to 80. Okay, and that is the block. All right, well, let's make it hollow. So in order to make it hollow, go to Tools, and you can go to Shell, and we'll just select that side there, and we know it's three millimeters, and press enter and that will give you all the walls now if you're a uh, tinkercad person you'll have seen how easy that was no need to create extra bodies and make them holes and union them and things like that's crazy so but if you're fusion you'll know straight away well hang on this is one whole body so what we're going to do is we're going to now split that so i'm going to go back to tools i'm going to go to split body the body i want to split is this and the face I'm gonna use is that, the inside. Okay, and press done. And now just to prove that that worked, I can hide that and you can see that that has gone. Okay, okay, well now I'm gonna hide that and this time I'm actually gonna split these four edges. So close that back. Tools, split the body, this is the body and that is the side there. Now, if I split it there, that means that the top is going to fall through. And of course, we know that that's not what we want. So I'm just going to select that and press done. And now you can see that there's the top, there's the bottom. And you already know I'm telling the truth because I've shown you using layers, we can actually hide these things. Also, OK, let's hide that back into tools, back to split the body. Let's select that body. Let's select that um, face and done. And now I've got everything. And you're saying, hang on, where's the back? Well, let me show you how easy it is to copy in Shaper. So we take this. Now I'm gonna double click because by double clicking, I select the body. Let's double click the body. See that little button there? Well, that means copy. I'm gonna click the copy. I'm gonna move the copy backwards. Press enter, look at that. Now I've made the entire box. Okay, so let's make the holes for this. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll press sketch. I'll select where I wanna draw the holes. We know that this is the center point. We know that is the center point. We also know that the circles we want are 50. So how about we go into the middle, select the center and type in 50 mil. And that is done. Now. Copy, why don't we just copy it and drag it across? So easy, so easy. And is that about center? One, two, three. There you go, that one, and press enter, press enter, and close it. Okay, well, you've already guessed it. By moving it and selecting it, pressing shift, selecting it again, I can do that hole and that is it that was how easy that whole thing is okay so you're probably saying well how do you do tubes well tubes are fairly easy as well i can either hide everything i'm going to hide that one uh, i'm going to keep that one and hide the rest okay i'm going to press sketch i'm going to select that face and this time I'm going to try something different. Um, instead of having to draw the circle again, I'm just gonna offset the edge. Offset, select it. I believe that's two mil. Oh, wrong way. Let's go minus two. That's 
better. Let's enter. That's right to the edge. Probably not very good, but like I said, I'm just making these dimensions up. Minus two. Done. Okay, and we're going to close that. Let's close that. Move that to the 3D. If I click that one, shift, and that one, I already know the size. Drag it out. Now, look at that. This, do I want to join it? No. New body, yes. Press enter, press enter. Click off it, that's done. Okay, let's um, bring everything back, make life a lot easier now. So we've pretty much done our entire drawing and we're gonna double click that and just move it up. So it closes it and deselect. Okay, so that was um, your, your model. Now you're gonna have a little circle here called visualize. If you click that in a, on a Mac, it will give you the materials. You just drag those materials in and you have done your render. You want to make um, more intricate stuff um, with uh, with speakers, or well, then you can use all the different functions like revolves and sweeps and extrudes. Let me show you how to do the drawing part because I can do that on the on the PC. So we're going to go add. We're going to go drawing. I'm going to just highlight everything I want, and we're going to go next. Now, uh, if I do this one, then. I think that might be okay. Let's just try one to three. Okay, that's okay. It's a little bit small, so why don't I just double click that and make that one to two? And double click that and make that one to two. And double click that and make that one to two. Now, all you need to do is look at how easy it is to add dimensions. Click dimensions, click the line length, click the length, click the line, click the line. And of course, click the line there. Okay, that was easy peasy. Now we can also do uh, ra uh, diameters, radius. Click it, move it around if you don't like where it is. Done. Um, we can do thicknesses. So for that one, why don't we do a line to line? So if I go line to line distance, click the first line, hold shift, click the second line, and just drag that out of the way. Done, and then of course we've got the sectional. Now the sectional is to cut a line through it and then look at what's on the inside. So if we go close and view and section, and I'm going to I'm gonna click there, center point and down, and we're just gonna move that across. And actually, let go of that. Double click that one, move that across to give me a bit of space. And there you go, there's your sectional. Now to do sectionals, you'll probably want to add your dimensions as a point to point. So again, we're shifting, we're using the shift. So for this one, click that, hold shift, click that, and just move that out of the way. Okay, very, very easy, it works with this as well. So point to line. One thing you need to know is that the top view here is underneath the front view. And that's because we're doing a first angle projection. We're used to third angle projections, which means the top view is above the front view, which makes far more sense. But you've got to think that this is a projection. So we are projecting the top view through and projecting it on the other side. You can, if you want, change, uh, move all these to make it easier for you. But if you do that, you have to hide this because as soon as you say, if you say it's first angle, we know that this is the top view. Okay, it's just a standard and it's, um, and it, it's different depending on if you're in America, I believe, or if you're on the rest of the world. So first angle for America and third angle for most other places. Okay, once you're done, of course, then you can export that as a PDF. So I'm going to leave that as the end of the video. Thank you.